Hi teachers, this quick video is going to walk you through using the Screencastify Editor Studio in order to put multiple videos together. So in order to get there, you don't have to have a Screencastify recording started and your recordings don't have to be made in Screencastify either. Um, I believe they just have to be MP4s. So I'm going to click on the Screencastify extension. I'm going to click on the three lines and I'm going to go down and select editor. It's going to fire up the editor. From here I can see that I did have a video in the editor. I'm going to leave that there. And then over here on the right hand side I have the option to add a clip. I can add a clip by uploading or I can add a clip from my Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and add another clip by uploading because I have so many of them. Depending on the length of your clip, it will take longer. I have not tested the limits of this. I have added tons of clips in my timeline, but notice that my video is now 30 minutes long, which is definitely not developmentally appropriate um, for students when you're trying to teach via video. But you can see now that I have my separate videos in my timeline. And so if I watch, from this video to this video, there's not actually a space. The space is just for me to understand that um, there's two different video clips here. So if I were to start, Twitter, learn some it's more. going to... This video is a little bit longer. It has a lot to offer. And again, don't think you to have play. to right away. Just follow, follow, follow. Learn, learn, learn. And then when you're ready, start tweet tweeting and start sharing out your own things. And go right to the next video. Thank you, Okay, um, you do have the options where you can add very simple text to the video. It's not great, but it is an option. You can also crop videos or cut sections out of your video. Um, so if you watch the full screen Castify tutorial, I will show you how to cut sections out of your video and you can learn more there. Once you're ready to save this new video as one video, you're going to go up to the right hand corner and you can either download this as an MP4 or save this new video to Google Drive. Um, it's as simple as that.